Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to extend a sincere appreciation and gratitude to all of our supporters. Your support has allowed us to have a very beautiful 2023. But I also want to inspire you all to contribute so we can have a strong ending to such a beautiful year. We want to finish this year $100,000 strong. A $100,000 contribution will help us expand our services for the demand. More people are in need of food. So we have to expand our services, our food pantry services. There are more and more people who are in need of housing and they are threatened with homelessness. We have the largest student body that we have ever had. So we see that more and more children are in need of education. We are a 501c3 tax deductible organization. So your contribution will not only be Zakat eligible, but also tax deductible. The best time is to give right now before the end of December and the beginning of next year. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and thank you once again for your beautiful support. Your donations are impacting real lives. Listen to these next two stories to see the impact of your donations. And I originally came here because my dad was incarcerated. He still is in prison and he, um, he saw the school online. Yeah, I've just been coming here ever since and learning Quran and making him proud, alhamdulillah. Islam has really um, shaped how I behave and how I look at my parents and how I behave and have etiquette towards other people. They're kind of like doing my dad's part. You know, they're teaching me everything a dad should do. They're guiding me, telling me what I, what, telling me what's right and what's wrong. A guidance, a mentor. Inshallah, when I'm done with school, I can um, be a lawyer and achieve that goal. It's one of my biggest endeavors and try to help us black men that are incarcerated because a lot of innocent families are impacted from their not being here, you know. We're in need because we are on Crenshaw and Salasin after all. It's not the safest neighborhood. So I feel like just trying to upgrade and just the school overall would just make the school even better. I am uh, from the city of Compton here in Los Angeles. Well, I did commit a robbery. I was young, 19, and so I went to a uh, prison. And so I was introduced to Islam actually in prison. It was a moment that kind of kind of soothed me in a way that I never I never really felt that, you know, in my life. And I needed that. I came home, my family knew of Islam. You know, and I stayed with my, I lived with my sister for a minute. Then I moved into the Isla uh, housing, transitional housing. Like it's, it's, it's decked out, it's, it's, it's clean. It's providing you with just about everything. The utilities are uh, working. It's, there's water, toilets, there's bathtubs, there's closets. There, you have nice uh, drawers and tables and seats. And they have comfortable beds, clean sheets, there's gonna be food there too. And you have plenty of time to go to school, get a job, come home, know that you are secured, know that your place is there when you come. A place where you, you can be, you can feel safe. What does it mean to a person who comes home and has very limited resources and, and places that they can live? And then there's this law, can we help you? How can we help you? They're willing to, you know, continue and work with a person as long as they working on themselves and working to save up and then finally get on, you know, get on their own. For somebody to even care for a person and grab them by the hand and pick them up and put them in the place and start new, that right there in itself is just, uh, it's, it's rich, it's enriching. 